What's up everyone? It's Coach Key with Legends and Dice Cafe, where we learn about tabletop RPGs together. Just hang out and chill and play some games sometimes. I drop a video every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so stay tuned. Don't forget, if you're digging the content at all, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss out on anything. And today, we'll be reviewing the tabletop RPG Care. Look how thin this is. Look at the size of this bad boy. <laughs> Coming from a newbie's perspective, let's get it. Like I said in previous videos, and just in case this is your first time checking me out, I appreciate everyone who takes the time out to watch these videos. I just started playing Dungeons and Dragons this year, 2023, in I think February. So I'm still pretty new. But after playing Dungeons and Dragons, I started to learn about other tabletop RPGs like Call of Cthulhu, Blades in the Dark, Avatar Legends. And then from there, I was curious about the beginnings of Dungeons and Dragons, the beginnings of tabletop RPG, learning about OSR games, old school renaissance. And a lot of different titles came up like Basic Fantasy and Cairn. I was super interested to check this out. I'm, all, I'm still in the process of learning Dungeons and Dragons 5e rules. So <laughs> I wanted to take it easy as I continue to learn and explore the world of tabletop RPGs. I thought this would be pretty cool. Look how small it is. It's about 18 pages. All right, let's get into it. Real quick, before we begin, like I don't have a group to play this with, in the meantime, in between time, I'm going to try this out solo. There were some rules that I found that were solo rules specifically for Karen. Uh, these are it right here, Borrow Delver, and it specifically says solo rules for Karen. And it's just like a couple pages, I think like maybe two or three pages. I have a bunch of, I spilled some stuff <laughs> right here, so I can't show you that right there, but... So I'm not going to flip the pages, but this is it right here. I found the PDF. It's free. All you do is type in Karen Solo Rules. It's a free PDF on drivethroughrpg.com. And then it's just a few dollars, like, I don't know, maybe three something for the physical copy. Uh, oh, and if you're interested in watching me run an actual solo version of this, just leave a comment below and let me know. So check this out. <laughs> this is clearly a very light rules system, okay? Again, I'm not gonna go through every single thing. There were a few things that stood out to me. Again, this is again coming from a perspective from a very new individual into tabletop RPGs. So it says, Karen is an adventure game for one facilitator, the warden, and at least one player. Players act as the hardened adventures, exploring a dark and mysterious wood field with strange folk, hidden treasure, and unspeakable monstrosities. Dum, dum, dum. It says Cameron's written with the following design philosophies in mind. I'm not going to go through every single one of them, but this is the one that, this is one right here, you know, because I'm used to a class system with with D&D 5e, I'm used to classes. Uh, it says classes, role, or skills are not limited by a single class. Instead, the equipment they carry and their experiences define their speciality. I think that's pretty cool because there have been plenty of times that I wanted to be a mixture of like a cleric. Cleric is the first class that I played with D&D 5e, and it's one of my favorites so far. I've always wanted to make a mixture of rogue slash thief and a cleric together and a martial artist. <laughs> so I like this idea. And we go death. Characters may be powerful, but they are vulnerable to harm in its many forms. Death is always around the corner, but it is never random or without warning. Characters are changed through in-world advancement, gaining new skills and abilities by surviving dangerous events and overcoming obstacles. I'm loving the intro. <laughs> I'm loving the philosophy so far. The artwork I think is pretty cool. So here we go. Now, if you're familiar with d and then you're familiar with the Dungeon Master, you understand the term Dungeon Master or Game Master. And here the Dungeon Master or Game Master is called the Warden. And it has principles specifically for the Warden to assist. Here's your Dungeon 
master guide. And even though it's a small amount of information, it's really great info. Great info to get you started, to get you running the game, to get you comfortable with running the game. So again, for someone, for a new uh, game master, for a new <laughs> warden, I think this is fantastic. It gives you it's not an abundance of information. It's just exactly what you need to get you going, to get your imagination flowing, to get you started. And then here on the right side, you have principles for the players. So here's all the information that you would need as a player to be the best player that you can be and to enjoy the game to the best of your ability. Here's agency, uh, attributes related to saves. Do not define your character. They are tools. Don't ask what your character would do. Ask what you would do too. Be creative with your intuition, items, and connections. Exploration, asking questions, and listening to detail is more useful than any stats, items, or skills you have. Take the warden's description without suspicion, but don't shy away from seeking more information. There is no single correct way forward. Look, and, and here we go. Fighting is a choice and rarely a wise one. Consider whether violence is the best way to achieve your goals. Try to stack the odds in your favor and retreat when things seem unfavorable. I like that. I like that. I love the idea of, again, thinking outside of the box. You know, I, I'm interested. I'm looking forward to testing this system out. I'm looking forward to playing with a group because d d is fantastic with a group of people. I finally got an opportunity to play in person and it was because I've been I started online and I've been playing online since February and I want to say back in July I found um, an adventure league to join that plays close to where I live at and playing in person rolling my physical dice using my physical character sheet was like a completely different experience than it was online. Online is cool, it's fun, but there's nothing, absolutely nothing that it cannot compare, at least from my perspective, it cannot compare to playing in person. So I'm looking forward to finding, because right now I'm playing with a bunch of strangers, which again, it's cool, it's still lots of fun, but I can only imagine if this is what it feels like playing a tabletop RPG in person with, a bunch of strangers hanging out, having a great time, but I can only imagine what it would be like with people that, with friends, with family, you know? So, and then here we go on to your character creation. And it seems very simple. You're rolling a lot of the information when it comes to your PC's name, background from your, your character's traits, appearance, speech, mannerisms, etc. You're going to roll. It has plenty of tables in here for you to roll. Next thing is your ability stores, strength, dexterity, willpower, super simple. And right here, it doesn't have, so your HP isn't what I'm used to as far as HP. Your HP is your hit protection. And it says hit HP does not indicate a character's health or fortitude, nor do they lose it for very long. So Hit protection reflects their character's ability to avoid damage in combat. How many slots you get for your inventory off the bat. And it does let you know a PC cannot carry more items than their inventory allows. So even when it comes to your inventory and the things that you're, you choose to keep within your inventory, you have, to be, you have to be smart about your choices. There is a list of starting gear. And of course, your tables, character traits starting gear spell book you can roll for your spells here's your equipment prices and gold pieces i love staffs i don't know what it is i like the art here i think it's dope and then you also have optional gear packages so you've got cleric you know you got your warhammer chain mail gauntlets cleansing blade holy symbol of course and then you've got your rules and so I don't want to go too much into detail. And so you've got your rules, really simple. Ability, saves, healings. And then here comes your combat. Rolls, actions, turns, attacking damage, you know. So not like, again, what I'm used to with D&D &D 5e. It, it lays out specific things for a lot of situations. And this right here, it does not. And I honestly kind of like that so far. I love that it gives, it leaves room and leaves plenty of leeway for creativity for you to throw in your your style your energy and then of course you have your monster stats and of course they have the same thing hp strength dexterity will now it doesn't have many in here it also has a column where it teaches you how to create monsters so look at that like i said i think the book 
as small as it is, I think it definitely leaves a lot of room, a lot of leeway for creativity, which is what one of the things honestly I love about uh, tabletop RPGs is the creativity that it allows. And then of course, you've got your list of spells, your spell book. It shows you what each spell actually does. I like this. I just, <laughs> just briefly glanced at this. Mirror wall. A mirror becomes a gateway to another mirror that you looked into today. And that's pretty much it. Look how s small this book is. And then at the end, you get your character sheet, which I think is super dope. Uh, and last but not least, you actually have a rule summary, which is super dope, right on just one page. I honestly think, Karen, is absolutely worth looking into, worth getting the PDF for free. Or if you like physical books like I do, I absolutely love physical books and adding them to my collection. So if you like physical books, I would absolutely grab care and add it to my tabletop RPG collection. It's a rules light system. I think it's perfect for a beginner as well as a seasoned player or GM or warden. <laughs> and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this. Stay tuned for some more reviews. Let's learn together. Don't forget to turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss out. Thanks for watching. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic day.